Hey, what's up guys? Jeremy with Everything I Device, and in this video, I'm going to be answering one of the most common questions that I get of all time, and that is, where do you get that wallpaper? Now, I've done a, a review of this application in the past. I figure I'll do it again because I've just gotten uh, so many more subscribers since I've done the review, and it's hands down the best wallpaper app I have found to date, and it's just, it, it works perfectly. Now, I will leave the link down in the description. Uh, it says it's called Wallpapers HD, as you can see with the app icon right there. Uh, that's technically not the name of it. It's a long, elaborate name. So, again, if you guys do want to check this out in iTunes, or the App Store, rather, uh, I'll leave the link in the description. So, I'm just going to go ahead and launch Wallpapers HD. And uh, this is a free app. You can do an upgrade, which will give you access to some VIP wallpapers, and also it'll remove a... Uh, advertisement banner at the bottom there but it's really not that necessary I did it just because I use this app so much so I guess I'll just kinda give you a feel of how this app works um, it has the best wallpapers I've ever found they're all very high quality retina um, ready so I'll just kinda scroll through a few here to give you guys an idea of how this app works you just kinda swipe through them like so and then you do have a little pop down or a drop down menu right there you have the latest uploaded wallpapers you have the most popular and then you can just click random which will be uh, just completely random wallpapers now there are so many wallpapers within this app I could literally sit here and scroll all day and I probably will never reach the end there's just thousands and thousands and thousands of wallpapers so let's say we're interested in this uh, first off you have the little eyeball right there you can actually preview it on your lock screen just like that you can also of course preview it on your home screen you do have the option of to save it to your camera roll right there just like that um, you can favorite it by clicking the little star right there you have a little play button which will actually play through and cycle through the wallpapers automatically and then you can share the wallpaper too if you want with email Facebook or Twitter so that's pretty much it for you know the wallpaper selections um, and then the little back arrow right there just to back out to the main kind of interface so if I bring down this drop menu I'll just do random and as you can see it does kind of just change all the wallpapers and again popular and latest so if I click the little uh, side button right there you can just search for whatever you want um, this does have a huge variety of uh, Apple wallpapers so if you guys are looking for you know kinda like an Apple logo wallpaper uh, definitely pick up this application. There are so many Apple wallpapers. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, it does take a second to load here. Like I said, these are all very high quality, retina ready wallpapers. And as you can see, there's a lot of different Apple logos. Um, I could probably scroll through this for like a half hour. There's so many. So let's go back to the menu here. You do have different kind of search filters. Um, you can search by just a color. You can search by common words or most common words which are listed at the top right there. You do have my wallpapers so you can see all your favorited wallpapers and ones that you've actually downloaded. You have the wallpaper HD home, iPhone skins. Now see how that says VIP? Uh, that's basically the VIP section for if you've paid that in-app purchase of $1.99 so really not too necessary. Um, you have funny, landscape, paint, anime, movie and TV, quotes, creative, love, brand, car, animal, so on and so forth. Uh, just basically a, a bunch of different sections. Uh, and we can click this X here and click the other little button on the right right there. And you can actually upload your own pictures as a wallpaper to this application. Uh, do keep in mind there are, you know, copyright laws. Uh, so, you know, you just can't go on to Google, get an image and save it and upload it as yours because it's probably copyrighted. You have uh, clear browsing history, uh, clear download history, clear cache data, cache size setting, slideshow, just a bunch of really nice settings within this uh, wallpapers application. And it, it, like I said, it just works perfectly. It's it's hands down my favorite wallpaper app, uh, the best that I have found, and I would just highly recommend it to you guys, especially that it is free. And again, it is called Wallpapers HD. I will leave the link directly down in the description. So if you want to check it out, just go ahead and click on that. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to throw me a thumbs up. That will help me out tremendously. Also, if you guys want to see more reviews like this, be sure to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.